Anthony Joshua is not the first person to hold a belt with a 100% KO rate. There are a few others. Uh, the first one that came to mind was Vitaly Klitschko. He had 24 wins, 24 KOs when he won the WBO belt off Herbie Hyde. Uh, but as far as I've been doing some research over the past couple of weeks and I can't find anybody with a, a unit that's a unified champion who holds more than one belt. Uh, because I'll Okay, I'll be clear right now, there's a difference between being an undisputed champion and a unified champion. Undisputed means you hold more than one belt, one more than one major belt. Undisputed means you hold all the major belts. So I'm not saying Anthony Joshua is the first undisputed champion with 100% KO rate, but as far as I know from the research I've done, uh, and I'm quite busy myself, I can only do so much research, Anthony Joshua is the first unified champion what more than one major belt with a 100% KO rate. So I just want to be clear, I'm not saying he's an undisputed champion with a 100% KO rate, but he's the first unified champion with a 100% KO rate. And um, as far as I know as well, there's no undisputed champions with 100% KO rate. So that should be a, another record he beats. Because we've had over 100 years of boxing now, and there has never been a unified champion with a 100% KO rate. So this is a a record Anthony Joshua has only set in his first 19 fights, he's already set a record for the whole, not just heavyweight boxing, but for boxing as a whole. I mean, there are people that have came close before. Uh, George Foreman had 38 wins, 54 KOs when he was under a uh, unified champion. Sonny Liston had 34 wins, 25 KOs when he became champion. Mike Tyson had 29 wins, 26 KOs when he became champion. Uh, I've done research with other weight divisions. Edwin Val the Valero um, is a well-known one. He died with a 27 wins, 27 KOs. He had a lot of first-round knockouts. He was very impressive. He was a lightweight. Uh, he had a, a super featherweight belt first at WBA. Then he moved up to be a lightweight champion with a WBC belt. But he was never unified champion. There's Carlos Zarate. Uh, he's a batting weight. Um, he had 46 wins, 45 KOs, only held one belt. So like I said, Vitaly Klitschko as well with WBO belt, he, but he never unified either. Uh, Alfonso Zamora, another batting weight, he just held the WBA belt, but he got up to 27 wins, 27 KOs at one point. Um, so if anyone wants to dispute this and they find somebody that has actually achieved the status of being a unified champion with a 100% KO rate, uh, go right ahead and leave a comment in the comment section but um, as far as I know and as far as I can see right now when Anthony Joshua beat Vladimir Klitschko he set the record the first record in heavyweight history of being the only unified champion with a 100% KO rate which is very impressive in such a short career so far